Does anyone want wheat cakes? Wheat cakes? Ben, I am begging you. Please put on a shirt. You're gonna have to wait a while, dude. My hoodie's still in the laundry. Then wear mine. Just wear a shirt! This is my little brother, Ben. Ben likes his personal space. And this is my brother, Kane. Kane also likes Ben's personal space. Hey guys! Okay, that's it, I'm out of here. Wait, so you didn't die? And you live in Canada? Dude, grats. Oh no you don't, come back here. <laughs> okay, jeez, I'm not going anywhere. What? Someone made you that suit? You didn't make it yourself? Cool, right? I think it's a good sign. A real fresh start. You seem rather cheerful for someone who could be dead in the next few hours. Don't worry guys, I got this. Would you just be careful? The last time I was as optimistic as you, I had to blow myself up. Jesus Christ, dude. Ha! <laughs> Amateurs. Every real superhero knows that their death count should be in the hundreds. Everything's gonna be fine. Should we tell them? No. It says here in the script that I die. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. Don't worry. I'm sure it's only temporary. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Come on, dude, just read it. You don't think I'm gonna be killed off again? That's absurd. They made you Spidey again. That's a good sign. Alright, let's get this over with. Ah, oh, come on, it can't be that bad. That's what you said to me last time. And look where that's gotten us. Oh, yeah, sorry. Ah, <sighs> I miss Ben. He was like a brother to me. It's all my fault he's gone. Hey, guys! Oh my god, Ben, you're back! I, uh, missed you too, bro. Dorks. At least wear the hoodie. <laughs> like this? Peter, I need your help. I did something bad. Oh, did you accidentally kill Aunt May's plants again? Don't worry, I won't tell. No! This is serious. I'm actually in real trouble here. Oh, I lost my memories, Peter. I'm nothing without my memories. It's okay, Ben. You're not nothing. With or without your memories, you're still you. You're still Ben Riley. And you'll get them back. We'll find a way. So, until that time comes, let's just make new memories together, okay? Do you really believe that? I do. Even without your memories. I'm sure you know in your heart who you truly are. So don't give up on yourself just yet, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, this is my big brother Kane. He's like a big cuddly teddy bear. If big cuddly teddy bears were incredibly violent. Did you get shorter? <laughs> Shut up. Hey, aren't we supposed to be the same height? Why do I feel like I'm tall? Shut up! Kane, let me go! I can't breathe! Is this how you hug? Genuinely trying to give hugs. Uh, huh? Oh, shit! Peter's gonna kill me. Hey, Ben, I think I finally got this hug thing down. Wanna try again? Nope, no, 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 uh-uh, no, uh-uh. Hugs are overrated anyway. Failure! Ugh. I don't know if I should be laughing or not right now. Someone will die. Of fun! What? The only option is murder. He's kidding, no one's getting murdered. Seriously? Give me that, and shut up. Bro! What, bro? Tell the world we're bros! We're bros! Why'd you whisper, bro? Because... You're my world, bro! Bro! Ugh. Hey, man. You're looking mighty thirsty. Want some Baja? First sip's free. Ben? Are you okay? You look even broodier than usual. Hey, are you... Are you really my brother? Yeah, we've been through a lot together. 
Before you came back to New York, we were both a Scarlet Spider in Vegas. Still don't remember? Yeah, and I can't see your face. Just like how I can't see mine. Who are you, really? It's okay, Ben. Even if your mind is forgotten, you'll remember it in your heart. One day, you'll remember. So until that time comes, I promise, I'll stay by your side. What are brothers for, right? You were happy once, Ben. I was never happy. Just less pissed off. That's a cute outfit. The man who murdered me, Gwen, Flash, and your daughter, sold our best friend's soul to the devil and drove him mad, kidnapped Aunt May and replaced her with an actress whose death we mourned, made you believe you were a clone, kidnapped Aunt May again and had her buried, held MJ over the Brooklyn Bridge, turned your godson into carnage, and then tried to kill Aunt May and MJ again, give it to you? I mean, why didn't I decide to do something safer? If I wanted thrills and danger and lots of rampant violence, I could have been a postal worker. Heck, the Avengers get paid for playing hero. Me? I'd settle for a couple of coffee breaks a day. Man, I must be a trouble magnet. No sooner do I get my life handed back to me than I find myself up to my neck in web fluid. First, I think I've lost my best friend, Seward Trainer, when he gets zapped into a deep coma by the new Doc Ock only to find out that his consciousness is just vacationing in cyberspace. Then, in my waiter job as Ben Riley, I find that my employer, Jason So, just might be a mob boss. And now he wants me to become his bodyguard. Definitely the kind of guy Aunt May warn me not to hang around with. Not that I run with a very decent crowd anyway. I'm usually dealing with punks and skells as the Scarlet Spider. Do I really want to start doing that as Ben Riley? I want to open my eyes, but I can't. Everything is darkness. Everything is pain. And then I feel the tendrils piercing my skin, pushing deep into my muscle, my blood, my bone, into my very cells. And I feel him, his consciousness, vibrating through mine, creating all those duplicates has drained him. And what little life force he has left is being poured into me. I want to tell him to stop, let me go. But I can't find my voice. And then I'm flooded with a tsunami of feelings. Mine or his, I can't say. Shock, regret, despair, triumph, rage, love. Ben, I... I'm so sorry. Sorry? You saved me. You... Maybe... Maybe I'm not such a monster after all. You're as human as I am, brother. <laughs> What is it? What's wrong? He looks at me with confusion, frustration, as if there's some fundamental truth he wants to grab hold of. But it's just out of reach. And then... He's gone. But can someone who's never been born truly die? Ashley Kafka doesn't think so. She's working selflessly, tirelessly, to reach into the dark silence of his mind and bring my brother back. There's so much he has to answer for. The blood, the grief. And yet, I want her to succeed. I want Spider-Side to live as I've lived. Find friendship, purpose, hope, and the possibility, no, the certainty that tomorrow will be better than today. <laughs>